How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, doing another little afternoon wading trip. Haven't been able to find the time to take the boat out, unfortunately. Been too busy with work and whatnot, and uh, just struggling trying to make some videos. So, got about two hours this afternoon. I got the old Miradine tied on there. Probably throw the slick on there as well, but we're gonna be targeting a bar on some shelly bottom. I'm walking up to my spot right now and I'm seeing some mullet jump, so that's good. That's what we're looking at. There's a bar that runs out right out here, out to a channel. Got a good feeling there's some trout out here, maybe some flounder. If y'all watching this video, we got on some fish. If y'all enjoy it, please leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, well, we're gonna ease our way on out here. Probably go 50, 60 yards, kind of get out here in a little bit deeper water. But I want to stay on the middle of this bar, kind of throw out around the edges. And uh, hopefully there's some speckled trout or some redfish or flounder or just something that wants to bite an artificial lure this evening. Like I said, we probably only got maybe an hour and a half of daylight or maybe 30 minutes before these no see start tearing me apart. But I do want to mention one thing. If y'all are wade fishing, especially around the marsh or shelly bottom just slide your feet that way you're less likely to step on a stingray i've never been stung by one but i have heard that it is one of the worst pains that you can feel so we definitely don't want that to happen especially out here by by myself not would not be good what an absolutely beautiful evening a little light wind just to kind of keep the bugs off of us I'm starting with this mirror lure mr17 do want to apologize i forgot my third person camera so pretty much just going to be the hat cam this afternoon if we do get on some fish but it's better than nothing so hopefully we do find some just kind of making some fan casts here y'all this bar runs out this way kind of drops off a little bit into some sandier bottom on both sides and I'm really looking for some some kind of activity, something telling me there's fish here, other than mullet jumping. I haven't seen any just yet. Oh my goodness, golly. Did y'all just see that? Just hit the water. I didn't even work it and this fish just smacked it good fish good feeling fish <laughs> that is crazy this is the first bite of the evening right here i walked a pretty good ways We're probably 70 yards off the bank here if this is a trout this is definitely over 20 here i mean that lure didn't sink but maybe a second or two before it, this fish just smacked it Ooh, really good runs. Really good runs right here. I'm loosen this drag a little bit. These treble hooks, she is more than likely gonna pull. What do we got? What do we got here? Watch it be a gaff top sail catfish. It is. Dang. <laughs> All right, well. This is going to be fun. So this right here, y'all, is a slime cat, what we call them. It's a gaff top cell catfish. Fun to fight. They will fool you, obviously. And you can see why we call them slime balls, because look at my line right here, just covered in slime. And this is not going to be fun trying to get these treble hooks out. All right, come here. I got you. I got you. Alrighty. Well, there we go. Not what I was expecting the first catch of the evening to be, but hey, pull some drag. <laughs> Look at that nasty slime on there. You can usually just kind of run your fingers down that line and pull it off. <clears throat> that is a trout. Oh, it just pulled it. 
<laughs> it was a small one. That was the first bite. Swapped over to the big slick lure here. If y'all watched my previous video, this was catching some some quality trout. I probably could go back to the mirror, Dean. I just don't think I was out here far enough. But we're gonna see if we can get another fish to bite this juicy looking bait here. Well, they have made themselves known. So that is good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I know they're here. <laughs> I was just saying, we just had two bites. Just had to walk out here a little bit further. I love it when they hit it as soon as it hits the water. Just didn't even have time to work it really. Feels like a decent fish. Hopefully it's not a catfish. I don't think it is. I don't think so. No, no. No catfish. Definitely a trout. <laughs> Oh yeah. Come on, put on a show for us, baby. Put on a show. Love it. <laughs> oh man, she's got mud all over. That's crazy. That's probably a, a 19 or 20. We're gonna try not to get water on the lens here while I grab her. Not keeping any fish this evening. All right, chill out. Gotcha. Oh yeah, definitely a 20 inch trout. On that pearl white shad slick. All righty, appreciate it girl. Appreciate it. Come on off. Let's go. Well, let's hope that's not the only one out there great thing about these slick lures is you really can't work it the wrong way there's a dozen different ways you can work this lure I, I believe I mentioned it in the last waiting video that I posted but I think some of them trout that I called them on in that last video I was kind of walking the dog just like that I mean you can just do a straight retrieve and that lure is just gonna glide through the water I personally like to give it a good slow reel and then give it some fast twitches kind of like you would a mirrodine but not reel it up to your rod tilt like I just did <laughs> and another great thing about this lure is you can really chunk it out there I mean I'm, I've got a good probably eight mile an hour wind in here in my face and I'm able to chunk it out there a long ways about the same distance as you would a good sized topwater lure and that's always great whenever you're fishing, wade fishing, or by the boat. Get it, oh, dang it. Get as far of a cast as you can. Just had another nice bump right there. Uh, screwed that one up. Yep, that was definitely a hit. Mm, that's another nice trout. Again, as soon as it hit the water, I think I had two twitches. Oh yeah. Let's loosen that drag a little bit. I do like to keep it tight for the hook set because you really got to puncture that beast hook in, the, in their mouth. Oh yeah. Right. Appreciate it. <laughs> Not quite as big as that first one, but still a good trout. Come here. Stay on for me. Oh yeah. Healthy, beautiful fish right there. Calm down. Let's get that hook out of you. Thank you, thank you. Good fish right there, y'all. Gotta love it. She gone. Meow. Starting to get on some good bites here. Probably been fishing for about 30, 40 minutes. Only two trout so far. I have missed a, a couple. Just on me. Oh, and that was another miss because I didn't have my drag set right. Good googly goo. I'm googing out here, y'all. 
that was totally my fault so yeah I did mention I loosen my drag when I'm fighting the fish but you gotta remember to <laughs> put it back let's see if that fish will come back my hands are slippery now <clears throat> that was another hit dang come on hell they are they are stacked up right here <clears throat> there's another one oh yeah all right can we keep her pinned oh she's swimming to me swimming to me Ooh, oh my goodness going crazy oh <laughs> look at that <laughs> good trout good trout <laughs> Man, she is mad too. Come on, let me, let me grab you. Calm down. She ain't done yet. She hammered that thing. Just thinking about swapping lures. And then this girl hit it. Probably an 18, 19 inch fish. Gotcha, gotcha. Check it out right there. Gotta love it. It's another great thing about these lures. If you do plan on just catching and releasing, you don't have to worry about them treble hooks. You get that one four alt owner beast hook. Get it out nice and easy. Let me get a quick video. My phone's soaking wet. He gone. Gotta love it, y'all. Gotta love it. Come out here, not really expecting a whole lot. And within 45 minutes to an hour, we've got three trout close to 20 inches. One definitely over 20. We're gonna continue fishing here. I was gonna swap lures, but I think we're gonna keep throwing the old slick. It's doing work for us. All right, we got a fresh battery. As I was changing batteries, we got this little trout slick popped up right here in front of us. So that's a good thing. They might be right on the up, upwind, up current side of this slick here feeding. Got a bird out here. Oh, there he is. Called it. Oh my goodness. That feels like a decent one. Really good one. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Y'all see what I'm talking about? This little trout slick right here it means they're feeding on bait right here in front of me. Literally through about 30 feet in front of that slick. We've got a good fish here. Good fish. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Y'all guess what? <laughs> it's another catfish. Dang it, man. Well, there is fish feeding. <laughs> Oh, it is a trout. Never mind. I thought I seen a whisker. <laughs> Jeez. Here I am tightening my drag up. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was a catfish. I thought I saw a whisker. Come here. Chill out. Yeah, I know. I should probably bring a net. I'm going to be mad if I catch a re really big one and pops off just like that but I really ain't worried about it. I just love the thrill of fighting these fish, especially on artificial, out here in the water with them. It's just so, so relaxing. Oh my goodness, especially when you can get them every cast. Golly. <laughs> oh, she pulled it. Yeah, we've done, we've done got on them here, y'all. Either that or they have just moved in. I think I might need to move out a little bit deeper. Tide is falling, so I've progressively been stepping out as it's falling. And I think the fish are following that as well. So we're going to keep pushing out.
That's the cast. We're gonna get bit on that one. Felt good about it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, I love it when you call your shot. <laughs> That's probably another 17 fit, 17 inch, 18 inch fish. It's only cool just because I caught it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there goes my slick. Yeah, probably not that big. Probably 16 inches. Still cool. Still cool. Come here. Thank you. Thank you. Chunky little fella. Give me my hook back. Graceful release. So that trout, as y'all seen, just messed that bait up. I'm fixing to re-rig this bait. It does have a screw lock on this four out owner beast hook. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend that lure just like so. Go way back, get that hook pierced. And that's that's about how you want it rigged, just like so. And she's ready to go. All right, y'all, we're gonna see if we can get one more fish to end the day. It's getting late. I've had a great time out here. Getting on some nice rod bending action. Some quality speckled trout. Can't complain. Would like to try and get one more, but if not, no problem. I'm back for it. Mm -hmm. He came back for it. Love it when they shake their head like that. Whew. What a way to end the evening. Beautiful scenery in the background. Nice quality trout on the line. Good one too. Good one. That's what I'm talking about. Man, they are so beautiful this time of the year. Got purple on them there. Yes. I think this is a good stopping point for us. I had a great time out here. That is a fat trout. Man. Let's go ahead and get this lure out and get you back. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, she's definitely full of eggs. Get her back. Love to see it. Well, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this afternoon, guys. Uh, started the afternoon out with a slime cat. Didn't think it was gonna be that great. Then we finally got on some good speckled trout action. So I can't complain with that. We've got some beautiful scenery. The gnats didn't tear me up out here. But uh, we will be shooting videos on the blackjack here soon, I promise. I know I've been slacking y'all. I've been so busy with charters and work and stuff like that. And I'm also fixing to get two wisdom teeth taken out, unfortunately, which is probably going to suck a little bit. But it is what it is. I'll be back, I promise. Uh, uploads will be starting to get back to normal here once the summer starts rolling around but like i said i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please leave me a thumbs up consider subscribing if you enjoy all types of saltwater fishing until next time see you back out in the water